Lesson 7c, Calculations with Fnet. Fnet equals mass times acceleration. What is the force of gravity acting on a 65 kilogram boy on Earth? Well, force of gravity equals mass times gravity, where g, gravity, is also known as gravitational field strength, which is equivalent to 9.8 newtons per kilogram, or 9.8 meters per second squared downwards. One kilogram is attracted to Earth with a force of 9.8 newtons. Fg equals 65 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Notice how the kilograms cancel out. The force of gravity acting on this 65 kilogram boy is 637 newtons. This is known as the boy's weight on Earth. A Newton spring scale measures weight by reporting normal force, not force gravity. When there's an unbalanced force acting on an object, then the force will accelerate or change directions. The direction that it will speed up or turn to depends on F net, the net force. Think of F net as a tug of war between the forces where the value of F net is equal to the winner minus loser. Recall this example from last day. There are two forces pulling in opposite directions. Who wins the tug of war? Up wins the tug of war. So what is the F net? Well, F net is the winner minus loser. In this case, it's force up minus force down. F net equals normal force minus force gravity. F net is 11 newtons minus 6 newtons, which makes 5 newtons upwards. The object will accelerate upwards with a force of 5 newtons. Example number 1. A man is standing in an elevator that is accelerating upwards. Here's a free body diagram illustrating this situation. Who wins the tug of war? Up wins the tug of war. The normal force is greater than the force gravity. The elevator accelerates upwards. F net equals winner minus loser. F net is force up minus force down. F net is normal force minus force gravity which can be written as F net equals Fn minus Fg. Example number two. A 72 kilogram man stands on a Newton spring scale in an elevator accelerating upwards at 3.2 meters per second squared. What does the scale read? Here's a free body diagram. Who wins the tug of war, up or down? Up wins as in example number one. Well, what is F net? F net is winner minus loser. F net is force up minus force down. F net is normal force minus force gravity. F net is Fn minus Fg, as before. The formula for F net is mass times acceleration. The formula for force gravity is mass times gravity. Therefore, our equation now can be written as mass times acceleration equals force normal minus mass times gravity. Now recall, the Newton spring scale will measure force normal, so we'll manipulate the equation solving for Fn. Fn equals mass times acceleration plus mass times gravity. We'll factor out the mass so force normal equals mass times acceleration plus gravity. Force normal equals 72 kilograms times 3.2 newtons per kilogram plus 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Force normal equals 72 kilograms times 13 newtons per kilogram. Force normal equals 936 newtons. If the 72 kilogram man was being accelerated upwards by a spring scale at a rate of 3.2 meters per second squared, the scale would read 936 newtons. Example number three, a man is standing in an elevator that is accelerating downwards this time. Here's a free body diagram. Who wins the tug of war? Down wins the tug of war. The force of gravity is greater than the normal force. The elevator accelerates downwards. F net equals winner minus loser. In this example, force down is the winner, so F net equals force down minus force up. F net equals force gravity minus force normal. F net equals Fg minus Fn. Example number four. A 72 kilogram man stands on a Newton scale in an elevator accelerating downwards this time at 5.2 meters per second squared. What does the scale read? Well, who wins the tug of war? Up or down? Down wins, as in example number three. What is F net? F net is winner minus loser. In this case, it's force down minus force up. Force net equals force gravity minus force normal. F net equals force gravity minus force normal. Remember, F net is mass times acceleration, and force gravity is mass times gravity. The equation now can be written as MA equals MG minus force normal. Recall, a spring scale measures force normal, so isolate force normal. Fn equals mg minus ma. Isolate mass, force normal equals mass times gravity minus acceleration. Force normal equals 72 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram minus 3.2 newtons per kilogram. 
force normal is 72 times 5.6 newtons per kilogram. Force normal is 403.2 newtons. If the 72 kilogram man was being accelerated downwards by a spring scale at a rate of 5.2 meters per second squared, the scale would read 403.2 newtons. Example number five, a car jack applies an upward force, the normal force, of 9.10 times 10 to the three newtons. If the car's mass is 600 kilograms, what is the acceleration of the vehicle? Here's a free body diagram. Who wins the tug of war, force normal or force gravity? Well, since the car moves upwards, we know force normal wins. Force net equals force normal minus force gravity. Since force gravity is mg, we know that F net is 9.10 times 10 to the 3 minus 600 times 9.8. F net is 9.10 times 10 to the 3 minus 5,880. Force net is 3,220 newtons. Recall F net equals mass times acceleration. So substituting 3,220 for F net, we have 3,220 equals 600 times A. Solve for A, and acceleration is 5.33 meters per second squared upwards. F net is the forces remaining after all the other forces acting on a body have been cancelled out. F net equals mass times acceleration. Treat F net as a tug of war of forces where the bigger force wins. F net equals the larger force minus the smaller force. A spring scale reading gives you normal force. Using F net equals MA, you can calculate the acceleration of an object or the net force acting on an object.